स्टूडेंट्स नमस्ते आई एम पी पी वाई एंड यू आर वॉचिंग माई चैनल पी पी वाई टूटोरियल इन दिस चैनल यू ऑलवेज वॉच इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स वीडियोज एंड मोस्टली दिस सीरीज इज रिलेटेड विद मास्टर्स फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड सो अप टू नाउ वी हैव अपलोडेड फाइव सिक्स वीडियोज एंड आई थिंक यू हैव वॉच ऑल दोज वीडियोज एंड दिस मेक्स यूर कॉन्सेप्ट मोर क्लियर एंड टूडेज टॉपिक्स विल बी द एंटी रिजोनेंस पार्ट टू and i hope that you have already watched the first part and first part after watching the first part it will be better you to watch this second part is makes you more clear and so without delay let's start today's topic is condition 4 condition 4 maximum maximum impedance this will be our topic students and so in this topic we will find the condition under what condition we get the maximum impedance of the maximum impedance of the parallel resonant circuit and so let's draw this parallel resonant circuit and this is our source and i connect this one of the that say inductor and inductor and in the series with the inductor we have one resistor and one capacitor we are connecting and this is the case where inductors do have some resistance r its inductance l and capacitor has capacitance c and i have connected one source uh, which have the emf a and so this is our the uh, anti resonant circuit some current may flow here some where gold current this i am mean, suppose this is the i l and this is the i c but right now we don't need this values but it's still okay and so now Let's see the uh, what will be the emittance of the this whole circuit. And so first uh, emittance of the emittance of the inductive branch. Inductive branch emitted these two are in series. And so you know that the emittance is reciprocal of impedance. And so I can write this R plus J omega L. I think this should clear. This these two are in series, so series we have the sum R plus J omega, J omega L, and likewise the admit the admittance of the capacity branch. Actually, there is only one, so we can tell the susceptance also. So this is the one by one by X C. One by X C means uh, that we get the one by one by J omega C, and which I get the J omega C. So our all admittance, our all total admittance, we can tell total admittance, admittance of the circuit. Total admittance of the circuit will be circuit will be y equals to, and this admittance we have to add total admittance. That's the y l plus y c, and so this we get y l. We have the value one by R plus J omega L and Y C. You know this is the J omega, J omega C. Now see this. This is the admittance, and you may think that how this admittance is it because we know this formula is one by J equals to one by J one plus one by J two in parallel, right? When components are parallel, and this is the formula for admittance. Uh, the so, so formula for the impedance. Sorry, and so. A reciprocal of a impedance is called admittance. So this is the Y, and this is maybe the Y one, and this may be the Y two. So this formula I have used here: Y equals to Y L plus Y C. And now I have to add this, and so when I add it, I got this. And here the this is complex quantity, so I have to rationalize it for better calculation. Uh, let's see. So what we get? Y uh, equals to and conjugate. We have to multiply by conjugate, so minus R minus J omega L by. If we multiply with the conjugate in denominator, then we get R square plus omega S square L square. And next we have this J omega C. Okay, now we can take the LCM. So when we take the LCM, R square plus omega S square L square, and that gets cross multiplied. And here is J omega C times R square plus omega S square L square. Okay, so here we don't have any problem. Eh? 
I think and so we can take uh, minus j common here and so we get the omega L minus omega C times R square plus omega square L square. So this is the this is our admittance and denominator we still have to write omega square L square. This we get the admittance. And this complex quantity and we are mostly concerned with its magnitude and so let me find its magnitude. Magnitude you know that is n equal complex number multiplied by its conjugate and we take the square root then we get the its magnitude. Okay and so here I have to multiply this with its conjugate and so this conjugate you know that is minus then you have to multiply a plus. So we get this, we get this uh, R square plus this whole terms in the bracket we have to square omega L minus omega C R square plus omega L square L square and this whole square and down denominator is this real quantity and this two times we have to multiply and so we get the R square plus omega L square L square and this whole square. So I think there is no problem in this uh, and sometimes we do not take the root and for not taking root I have to do a square here. Well uh, still I have to, um, these terms I have to do the a, a minus the whole square and so let me do this calculation because I never leave any any step uh, so that you have you will have problem to understand this. Let me write r square plus this will be the omega square l square and this middle term 2 AB terms so 2 omega and omega is omega square and this get the LC and this term is still I have to write R square plus omega square L square and next B, S, B square so that term is omega square C square and that's uh, R square plus omega square L square and this whole square and denominator is still we have that's R square plus omega square L square this whole square. Okay, so friends here is the if we drew one technique then we uh, should not multiply by this term. If I put one bracket over here then you can see that's R square plus omega square L square R square plus omega square L square and last term also R square omega square. So we can take common and we can cut with the denominator one terms. So I have not I have only one space and so I will cut this directly. I get 1 minus there is 2 omega square LC and then we have the omega square C square and that term is 1 term left out of 2 omega square L square and denominator also square gone and 1 left. So this is the R square plus omega square L square. This is the value of a square of admittance of the parallel. parallel uh, and in the parallel to the LCR circuit or anti resonance circuit and this case I have supposed only when the inductor do have some resistance in series that resistance may include the resistance of inductor itself or any any external resistance we have to have connected in series with the inductor. So up to here we have got this and this next term next work we have to do is we have to maximize we have to minimize this to get the maximum because if we maximize, if we maximize the admittance means we are getting the minimize the minimize the impedance. So here the condition is to get the maximum impedance. If you want to get maximum impedance, then we have to minimize the admittance term. So this admittance terms I need for all the calculation until then you can uh, you want to okay let me write something somewhere uh, description so that will be easier for you to make the note. Okay, let us let us consider consider parallel parallel LCR circuit circuit as shown in shown in circuit diagram. I have told that you have to see yourself in the figure figure and let let YL YL YC and YB, YB, the admittance, admittance of inductive branch K 
capacity branch and our all our all admittance respectively so i have suppose these terms and then we can write here and from the figure you then go on copying this you can copy this and then after you continue to copy this and so this whole you copy and then i have to rub it and then i'll uh, write the other okay so now i don't require this uh, so let me rub this all well so i friends i think it is helping you this tutorial if so then you can comment if you have any problem today i am putting this video in english language because other university students also can can get benefit from this okay so next uh, you know this last this admittance i need okay so this was my admittance i'll copy this again because this we need all the time so this our uh, admittance what we got equals to 1 minus and 2 omega square 2 omega square lc plus omega square c square and let me multiply this omega square c square times r square and then this omega 4 i think omega 4 and l square c square l square c square uh, friends my l and c sometimes look like same so be careful while copying okay so this r square plus omega square l square and this is the admittance we require in rest of the derivation and so this is the term which i got now here is the we had one figure that's a uh, I, which I wrote right now and there was the inductor and the resistor and there is the capacitor in parallel with this and so we can get the max condition for maximum is maximum impedance in three cases one case if you want to vary this inductance then we'll get one condition of maximum imp maximum impedance if you want to vary this capacitor then another in condition for maximum impedance likewise you may have another third choice that is you may vary the frequency may vary the frequency of may vary the frequency of the uh, source so there will be three conditions uh, in which we get the maximum impedance so let me start first by varying the capacitance so first i will do this and in this situation i suppose i will suppose that inductance and frequency these are these two are constant means we have to do the partial derivative right but i'll write the symbol of the that's complete derivative but still you think that we are varying only capacitance in present situation okay and so case first and let me write first we can obtain three conditions conditions for maximum maximum impedances maximum impedance either either by varying capacitance or inductance or frequency 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 of supply so there will three condition case first case case first we will consider when capacitance capacitance of the lcr circuit is is varied keeping keeping inductance inductance capacitance in sorry inductance and frequency frequency of supply supply constant so we want to get the maximum value we want to get z max so to get z max z max is 1 by y this admittance so if i get this value minimum 
then only I can get this value maximum. So instead of handling the impedance, we'll, we'll take the derivative of admittance only and we'll find the condition for minimal admittance. If minimal admittance you can get then that will condition automatically will be condition of the maximum impedance. So here in this case I have to vary with respect to capacitance. So here is the D this admittance square by DC and let me so see this when there is omega L square so this term is constant so I have to find the derivative of just numerator and you know that's no derivative of 1 is 0 so let me write this is 2 constant omega plus constant L also constant and derivative of C is 1 and likewise this is the omega square omega square and C square derivative is 2C okay and so this R square is 4 the time being constant okay and so this uh, omega 4 this also I have suppose this is a constant and next term is L square which constant but this capacitance is not constant so I have that to say divide by divide by this uh, uh, R square plus omega square L square this is nothing to do with because this is simply a number code for uh, variation of capacitance. Okay, and so we know that so for maxima or minima of any quantity, we must have the first derivative zero. And so this trick gives us zero. So now, let, let me solve this to get the condition. So I think this goes that side, you get cross, cross multiplied with the zero. And so now we, we remain with, we remain with, I think you are seeing this two omega square, two omega square, and two omega square constant, and so that's common. So let me take this common out. So minus 2 omega square I took the common. And so what I get is L and here is the CR square and minus 2 common. So this become minus CR square and omega square left here and uh, next term is so L square and 2 and 2C. Two I think C we have not taken common. Okay. And so 2 uh, this is C to the common. And this equals to 0. I think there is no problem up to now because very simple mathematics which so we can do in the elementary uh, mathematics, right? And so this so 2 omega square cannot be equals to 0 and so let me solve this. So I get this L equals to C R square plus omega square L square C and here is C common and so let me take this L upon C equals to L upon C equals to C R square, sorry, R square plus omega square L square and so this is the condition right uh, so this how do we got this relation this is the conditions if this condition is satisfied then you will get the impedance maximum this is the condition condition for maximum maximum impedance impedance when only only capacitance capacitance tense is only varied only varied to obtain maximum maximum impedance okay and so this uh, I think uh, if is if I solve this for the omega then let's see what we get let's see okay furthermore I have to solve so I'm going to solve for the omega so this becomes uh, L upon C minus R square equals to omega square L square and so let me take this L this side and so this becomes the 1 upon LC 1 L cut 1 upon LC and minus R square upon L square equals to omega square and so omega square equals to I got the 1 by LC minus R square by L square and this no, no, you don't want to write this variable then you can write this and so friends uh, fortunately we got the same as the anti resonant frequency yes so when capacitance is buried in that case we get that frequency uh, at that frequency we get the maximum impedance when it happens the anti-resonance. So anti-resonance frequency was this only and so 
this indicates this indicates 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 that maximum maximum impedance impedance in this case in this case occurs occurs at anti resonant frequency anti resonant frequency that is that is unity power factor unity power factor unity power factor is still maintained okay and so this was the one situation we got the condition for the maximum maximum impedance okay so students i think you have copied this and so i don't require this now and so let me drop this okay and so second second condition we are second condition we are getting that this times we will give the when instead of capacitance we will vary the inductance inductance of the lcr circuit is varied keeping the capacitance keeping capacitance and frequency of supply constant so in this case also we will get another condition for the maximum impedance so again the same logic we can tell that so this uh, to get the maximum impedance we will be tends to the minimum and these times we are did we are taking derivative with respect to l and so this all i don't require now let me drop this because we are going to get the other other conditions okay and so well and now here in this times we have to take the derivative of this term also because there also omega and i mean here also l and there also mop also l and so this is the terms like u by b so in higher class actually people uh, do that so on solving this you will get this is a result they take that but still we will try to get all the terms all the steps we will do there then maybe the chance of uh, being some mistakes and so be careful while copying this right okay and so this uh, i use the formula and so b and this is r square plus omega square l square and then you have to take the derivative of this and so you know derivative of g1 is 0 minus 2 omega square and this in the real real is real by real is 1 and so this remains c and next term this term there is no real and so i can this uh, this will be the 0 and think and so this will be this will be 0 and next to this term so this is the omega 4 and this l square so we get this 2l times c square and this becomes the we have formula for derivative of u upon b i think you all remember this formula b du by dx minus u dv by dx upon upon b square right and so i did this, this term only b du by dx now we still have to do minus u dv by dx and so i change this uh, line so that uh, if any mistake then I can I can find it okay and so u it means this upper is u and so I have to copy down this all 1 minus 2 omega square lc plus omega square c square r square plus omega 4 l square c square and then I have to take the derivative of this term and so you know that's r square this is the 0 and this is omega square and this 2l so we get the 2L omega square upon B square and so B is my this terms and so I have to get I square plus omega square L square and this whole square which must be equal to 0 for minimum admittance. Okay, now what will happen? See this, we have to multiply this and this denominator goes that side becomes 0. Okay, and so now let me carefully multiply this. If one come mistake, this goes. And so minus minus 2 omega square r square and this c. Next term, next term is this. And this is the r square plus omega square. Here is the r square. r square. And this is the omega 4. This is the 2L. And this c square. I multiply with the r square. 
next is the omega square l square so this i multiply here then i get minus 2 omega 4 l square c l square c and next this term left and so this we get the omega 6 omega 6 i am getting there omega 6 l yeah. omega 6 and 2 l q 2 l q and that's c square okay and still i have to multiply this with this okay i'll multiply this minus what i get minus 2 l omega square 2 l omega square minus 2 l omega square and x is minus minus plus and i get the 2 to the 4 4 omega 4 and this l square l square c next i have to multiply by this with these terms so i get the 2 l omega is l square is the square is omega 4 and next term is c square r square c square r square finally this term is left and so let me multiply this to i got the 2 2 and l uh, omega omega 6 i think l cube l cube and this c square equals to 0 and i missed here the sign let me see check the sign this first term is minus second term is plus and third term will be the third term is minus and fourth term also minus see this this kind of mistake it may happen okay now let's see if there's some term is going to cancel or not okay i think uh, this term and this term is same okay so this term this term cancel okay next any other terms i think uh, yeah this 4 omega square omega 4 l square c this is the similar term and so here what i get uh, i think another term also will get cancelled yes r square r square omega 4 omega 4 2l 2l and c square okay and so this term also cancel now remaining terms i have to uh, write down so this is terms i was going to write also minus 2 omega 4 l square c and this 4 omega 4 l square c means i have 2 omega 4 l square c so this term and this term also gone now next next let me write the next term is i think this term this term left minus minus 2 omega square r square c minus minus 2 l omega square which equals to 0 in term missing i don't think so okay and so here is omega square i am getting the common and so 2 omega square by the way and so let me take this 2 omega square common i take this i get the omega omega square there is c also common yes there is c also common so see this i take c common also omega square l square and here i get the minus r square minus r square and so okay and so i have to i think c is not common this is yellow no i was doing almost missing this is the and i think problem okay so i told you in the beginning be careful and so this two omega square common i took then this is left is omega square and l square and one c also left okay also the c left and so the cr square and here here i get the uh, minus 2l which equals to 0 still you can tell us 2 mega square is 2 mega, 2 mega square cannot be equals to 0 and so this I get them uh, if I write in the uh, take the minus common and so oh 2 is already given common no? so this left is the l minus c r square and this I took the minus common so this is the l plus c r square minus c omega square l square equals to 0 and this is the, our condition this is the this is the condition condition for maximum maximum impedance maximum impedance impedance when in the trench is buried 
when inductance is varied but this is the not uh, same frequency when uh, there's a well anti-rotation occurs you may check this by solving for the omega square and so let me check this again and so if i try this to solve this and so what i get is uh, okay and so c omega square c omega square l a square on the right side i'm mean left side i took and that's the remaining terms on that side okay and so i get this equals to l plus c r square L plus C R square and so I need the omega square, omega square equals to L by C L square minus I mean plus C R square by C L square and so I get this one L cut here so one by L C is here and this C C cut and this get the R square by L square this is the frequency and this is not the same case in that case the resonant frequency was the minus so we get this uh, this indicates the maximum impedance in this case of course does not occur and does not does not occur at the anti resonant frequency that is energy power factory is still not maintained okay so this was the um, when this was the case where we have the inductance to get the maximum impedance so this was the not the very difficult but that is terms were multiplying you may miss some terms and we're doing well uh, that's a plus to minus and these are the things i think we still you have got this all idea and i think you can do this question so again i give you time to copy down this okay okay and so i think uh, uh, you might have come copy the all Okay, let me do, uh, do the third case. In third case, what I told you, these times we are going to vary the frequency. I do want to find the uh, condition for the maximum impedance. Okay, and so when in this case, what we do? In this case, we vary in when frequency, frequency of frequency of supply, supply is varied, keeping giving L and C constant, constant will get the normal condition. Let me try this. Okay, and also this large number of terms comes and so we will not try to do yourself and so on simplification you will get, I will not try it like that. I will try to do all the steps. Okay, so d omega square and so d omega square by d omega because with these terms we are uh, varying the frequency. Okay, so this, no, I don't require this now. Okay. <coughs> well, and so this again, I have this remittance and this time I have to be, again, a variation with the frequency and so again we have the same form like U by, okay, let me check this, change this marker, that is lightly. And so this uh, again we have u by v and you know the formula is v du by dx minus u dv by dx upon v square and so uh, keeping in the mind these terms let me write this is our v and so this r square plus omega square l square and now I have to take the derivative of this term so one is still zero and now this uh, two 2 and this omega is by 2 omega and so this 2 to the 4 omega lc and next this term and this term is omega square means 2 omega 2 omega c square r square and next is omega 4 so this become the omega and so 1 less omega cube and l square c square this I got the uh, just this terms v du by dx and my next I am changing line so that it create a mistake I can find it easily okay next term next I have to copy down these terms and this 1 minus 2 omega square lc plus omega square c square and r square also plus omega 4 l square c square now derivative of this term and so r is constant 0 and this omega square is 2 omega l square I think 2 omega l square 
ओके सो इज डिवाइड बाय होल स्क्वायर ऑफ दिस टर्म दिस इज आर स्क्वायर प्लस ओमेगा स्क्वायर एल स्क्वायर एंड दिस होल स्क्वायर व्हिच मस्ट बी इक्वल्स टू इक्वल्स टू 0 now we know that second i have to multiply this all and call the terms which get cancelled okay but before doing that i think it's better for me to take the common 2 omega and cut it down so the terms will be at least smaller one i think l also common no so i have to take this i will take the common 2 omega 2 omega 2 omega okay and so this i get the 2 omega common 2 omega common from the these all terms and here is the r square plus omega square l square and here I left with the 2 has already gone and so this uh, uh, minus 2 uh, 2 omega 2 common so 2 lc 2 lc and here 2 omega gone and so this is the c square r square 2 omega gone and so this is 2 omega square, L square, C square, this term I got. And in this I have to copy by the way, so this I copy it, uh, 1 minus 2 omega square, L C plus omega square, C square, R square plus omega 4, L square, C square, and this 2 omega, 2 omega, L square equals to 0. Denominator multiply that side becomes 0, okay. And so now next you can see this 2 omega also, 2 omega going that side, that becomes the, this this goes to the other side and becomes the 0. Now I have to multiply this term, see this, uh, you may find this boring work, minus 2, okay, 2 uh, L C R square, okay, and next this I have to multiply, and so this get C square, this R4, c square r4 next i have to multiply by this and so it's 2 omega square l square c square r square again i have to multiply by omega square l square see this uh, so big terms coming minus 2 okay 2 omega square 2 omega square l cube c and these terms and so i'm getting the uh, C square omega square L square C square omega square L square even the R square also okay now this last term here of the first row and so this is the next is the 2 omega again omega square omega square omega 4 and this L square L square L 4 and there is C square that's and still here is to multiply with the L square so okay minus minus L square I got oh here is here minus L square okay and so minus minus plus 2 omega square L square C oh I have to multiply over L square so this will be L Q okay L Q L Q C and now this term so again minus this is the omega square c l square and next uh, still left r square and this i have to multiply by this so i got the okay minus i got the minus omega 4 and this i got the l 4 and c square which equals to zero now let's check which term, which of these terms are going to cancel Okay, and so up to here we had uh, we had uh, just did, and then this I copied because it has taken long time to a long time to call the cancel the terms because all terms looks like a same, and so I did this uh, just now by taking the time. Okay, up to here I got them, and so so easy just changing the terms, and finally here I, what I did actually. I need the omega 4 only and so I divide by L4 C A square everywhere and I got this result. So this is the condition. This is the condition for the maximum uh, maximum impedance. Uh, this is this is the condition condition for maximum maximum impedance. And of course, uh, of course, this is the, this is not same as the, same as 
सेम है तो एंटी रिजोनेंस रिजोनेंट फ्रीक्वेंसी मेंस इफ वी वैरी द फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड सो द इम्पीडेंस विल नॉट बी मैक्सिमम व्हेन देर इज अ इम्पीडेंस नॉट मैक्सिमम व्हेन देर इज अ रिजोनेंट फ्रीक्वेंसी and this is the you must notice that this is the case when inductors do have some resistance so i hope this was all all the that's derivation only calculus there was a less concept and more derivation and so uh you have to do you have to do properly so that there will not be even mistakes and i tried i think uh, and i got this all results whatever we need and thank you very much for joining today's class and i hope so uh, you will continue giving uh, uh, giving like uh, you may share my video and subscribe my channel thank you very much